Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I have another special episode of Chris Kramer's and the Stan Froon, The Girls Missing from Panama. And today I have a very special episode. We're going to talk about something very interesting. And it's going to be talking about the sunglasses. So let's get into this. So I wanted to go over the sunglasses and a couple interesting things about the sunglasses. The first thing I wanted to go over was how faded they are as opposed to when the girls were actually wearing the sunglasses. So if you look here, how Chris's sunglasses are extremely gray and really faded, and also Lisanne's sunglasses are also really faded and are also very gray. Now, if you actually look at the picture of them, You see Chris's sunglasses are nice and brown and Lisanne's uh, glass sunglasses are like black with the purple and they're nice and black. So compare that to these, compare that to those and they're very, very bleached. Why they're bleached, I don't know. There are some different theories of, like with uh, Chris's bones, that they were bleached somehow. Maybe the sunglasses also got bleached. It's also possible that, I don't know if them being in the water for a long time, if that would make them bleach or if they were in the sun for a long time, they bleach like that. But obviously they shouldn't have been in the sun because they were in a backpack. They could have been in the water for a long time, but I don't know. That's just something I wanted to mention was just the color of their sunglasses when they were found. This is from the picture of the contents of their backpack and they're very, very bleached. Just very odd indeed. It just doesn't seem right. So the next thing I wanted to talk about, the, the guy that was writing a book, so he released this picture, or a part of this picture, he released just the sunglasses part of this picture, but in full size, I'm actually enlarged a little bit, but full size, um, no compression, no, not made smaller or anything. I zoomed up on this image in Photoshop and you can see the camera or whatever this is that they're holding and you can see the camera strap right here and I put this camera right here this is the uh, SX270 that they supposedly had and put it next to it to compare and then also I was going to show you just a picture. This is just to show you this is another picture, but also to keep in mind where the camera strap comes out of. So it comes out and it holds on this side of where the cannon is. So that's this side on the bottom where the um, trigger release is on here. So it makes sense that the camera strap is going around her arm and going right through right here. But I wanted to do just a test to show you where the where the camera strap is and holding it. So from what I understand, if I'm saying this correctly, this should be her right arm. In this picture, this should be her right arm, but it should be flipped. So it's going to be a reflection of of her arm. So what I did is I took a picture uh, of another little camera I have holding a small Sony camera and then I flipped it so it would be a mirror image like this. So you can see I would take the picture with my middle finger because that's where um, the shutter release is and that's how I would hold it and the camera strap goes around nice and loose and goes that way. 
Now I just did it, flipped it around just to show you what would happen if you flipped it the other way. And you can see how the camera strap then is tight against your hand. And, and then you'd have to use your thumb to depress the um, shutter button. But, it more, but if you look at this picture of how I'm holding the camera, and then you look at this picture, it looks at least similar to how you would hold the camera with her thumb right here and probably her fingers are right here. So that looks very similar to this, pretty close that you would have taken the picture with either her, you know, this finger, the ring finger or your pointer finger, depending on how she was holding it there. Can't really quite make out her fingers very well it's a little, it, you're obviously zooming up on something and I tried to make the contrast the best I could to bring out this camera or whatever this is. I was just trying to figure out what exactly this little white dot is. I'm not sure if that's this. That's just fuzzy. Or what that is. You can see the white little fuzzy spot right there. That's the same. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell, obviously. But then they also, if you pay attention to the background, you can see the mountains in the background, and also you can see all the little fence posts in the background with the sunglasses. Just a couple more little things I wanted to mention here. Um, one, I forgot to uh, switch the camera and flip it so it would be uh, mirror and then the other thing I wanted to show you the other eyeglass thing so you can see here that you can definitely see her two fingers and her thumb like I was showing you on the other picture I lightened it up a little more so you could see it a little bit better it still doesn't explain what exactly this little white um, spot is. If you can see where the white spot is on this camera, which is the showing the zoom numbers, it's this doesn't correlate. So I'm not sure what this white spot is. But the other thing I wanted to mention was you can also see her hair retention device, her little hair strap. If I back out of this for a second, you can also see her hair, her hair band. Now, in the actual picture, in this picture, she has her hair up. And so I don't know why she has her, if she has her hair band around her, her arm, on her right arm, which you can see. In this picture, she has her hair band around her right arm and her hair is down. I'm not sure why she would have her hair band there and her hair is up. So I thought, just thought it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why it looks like there's a hair band still there. Because you can definitely see. The camera strap that goes across this direction. So I know that's the camera strap going here, but this looks like the hairband. Anyway, that is the only thing I wanted to mention. That's about all we can uh, pick out. It still doesn't exactly show what kind of camera it was that was here, and we can't figure out what that white dot is. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if it was a different type of camera than what actually what they think they had. I'm not sure. And that is all I wanted to show you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time out there. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to comment.